In the family of Bavarian crossovers, the X1 is considered the youngest, the smallest and most affordable. We check whether he is able to withstand the blow of time, like his older comrades. BMW X1 of the first generation, E84, was created on the platform of the station wagon of the third series, E90. In any case, they had the same wheelbase. However, the second generation car introduced in 2015 under the F48 index was already created on the basis of the UKL one front wheel drive platform, familiar from the Mini Cooper 3, as well as the Grand Tourer and 2 Series active compact vans. The car turned out to be noticeably lighter and shorter than its predecessor, but added 90 mm to the wheelbase. Thanks to the transverse arrangement of the engine, there was more space in the cabin, and its finishing materials and equipment became noticeably richer. The base engine was a 2-liter petrol turbo 4 with 192 horsepower. BMW X1 i Generation E84 has become very successful in many markets, including Russia. It has good liquidity in the secondary market. It does not attract the increased attention of hijackers and thieves of spare parts, which other BMWs have noted. Alas, this becomes the norm when the Germans, getting off the guarantee, become carriers of serious problems. It is not easy to find a peppy and inexpensive X1 of the first generation on the secondary market. You will have to inspect a dozen cars, if we are talking about a copy with a 100,000th run. And every time the picture will be similar, knocks in the steering or suspension, cracked leatherette or fabric seats with divorces, oil leaks on the engine and on the turbine, crickets in the cabin and body repair in history. The crossover is not designed for extreme loads, and many of its owners forget about this. Therefore, we recommend looking for a rear-wheel drive version. The front axle gearbox is often, sometimes unknowingly, operated without oil. And these are future costs. In addition, the car and the rear-wheel drive is able to deliver driving pleasure. Unless, of course, you do not mind too stiff suspension. In Russia, cars of German and Kaliningrad assembly were sold. The first ones are preferable, there the finishing materials are of better quality, and they are assembled a little differently, there are fewer plastic clips. The salon will creak less, and there are more chances for a high-quality windshield pasting, may leak. Any of the engines will please with dynamics and efficiency, but not all of them are equally useful in the secondary market. For example, a typical disease of the younger gasoline 4, the N46, 18i, unit, is an oil burner. Grease goes into the exhaust through oil removable caps or veno solenoid valves, snot. If you smell burnt oil, look for a new vacuum pump. Grease on the exhaust manifold is a source of fire. A diesel engine with one or two turbines requires less attention, but these requirements are more expensive. We are afraid of expensive repairs of fuel equipment. The cost of the nozzle is 30,000 rubles, and the replacement of the entire timing drive group. Chains, there are three of them, are already stretched on runs of 100, and less than that, thousands of kilometers. Spare parts for everything about everything will be needed for 40,000 rubles, but you will have to remove the box. Otherwise you can't get there. With the gasoline, turbo 4 of the N20 series, it appeared after restyling in 2011, with responsible operation. There may not be serious problems until a run of 200,000 kilometers. But oil leaks through the plastic oil filter housing cannot be avoided. The illness is typical. If you do not notice it for a long time, there is a high risk of running into a turbine replacement or, at least, paying for an extraordinary cleaning of the nozzles. Inline sixes will also have their own source, so it is rather difficult to recommend any particular unit. When buying any, you need to look at the state. Transmissions are a little easier. Before restyling, mechanics, and a six-speed torque converter automatic of the GM series were used. Reliable, but requiring an oil change every 60,000 kilometers. After restyling, an eight-speed hybrid, semi-robot, ZF box with mechatronics appeared. The latter requires cleaning and rarely walks without problems until the age of 150,000 kilometers. At the turn of 50 to 60,000 kilometers, if the car has not been subjected to special violence, one after another there are questions with steering and suspension. If the drive is rear, the front levers are aluminum, which means accelerated wear. Once every 50,000 kilometers, the bushings glued to the stabilizer will also give heat when replacing. And some manage to eliminate corrosion and leakage of the steering rack after every 30,000 kilometers. In a word, there are enough problems for iron. But there are practically no body problems. 
even the finishing chrome of some manages to stay on the details for up to five years. The headlights, however, are not airtight, they sweat. And in the rear lights, water can accumulate at all. The salon causes enthusiasm, perhaps only by its appearance. But do not look for premium quality materials here. And crickets, and scratches, and not resistant fabric, and leather, upholstery. Everything is there. But what is almost absent is complaints about the electrician. With the exception of the parktronics that glittle from dampness, there is practically nothing to complain about. In a word, if you manage to find a car with a completely healthy engine, you can safely take it. Train. Transmission. With the mechanics, usually nothing critical happens. And for the most reliable six-speed transmission of the GM series, with runs over 150,000 kilometers, sometimes the replacement of linear solenoids is necessary. Repair of this automatic transmission, as a rule, is required on a run of 200 to 250,000 kilometers. However, mechanics do not recommend turning on Schumacher. A sporty driving style will kill the box twice as fast. Engine. Diseases of motors can be described for a long time. But which motor to choose? Mechanics believe that the least evil can be expected from the inline 6 with the GM automatic. However, a diesel engine with a fresh timing drive and injectors is able to compete with it. The N52 series gasoline engine is also praised, but this is rare. With low mileage, you can safely take the N20 turbo engine with an 8-speed automatic. Quite fit. Suspension. The first, at 50,000 kilometers, are the front ball bearings and the hydraulic support of the lower front arm. Moreover, the latter can be difficult to catch by the hand, as well as steering vibration. Other people's sins are often attributed to tires, but stronger in the back. The main thing is to follow the silent blocks of the subframe on powerful versions, and the first to fail are the outer hinges of the carrier arm. So long. Everything is fine with the body, but tapping and creaking in the cabin is a common thing. Alas, there are defects, which can be difficult to catch, and in search of a cricket, you have to open the entire interior. Such elusive ones include rattling door lock rods, a loosened power window motor, a creaking door lock, door stops or rear wiper mounts. Electrician. Everything is quiet until the upgrade touches the car. Interference causes problems in unpredictable places. Avoid chip tuning versions, motor resource is reduced. The main problem is parking sensors, which burn three times more often than other sensors. In a word, when buying a car, you need to check the work of each stop. This may not be a cheap problem.